guys welcome back to another video in this one we're doing a portfolio update for the month of august it's august 1st so you know what time it is we're going to be going over the current structuring of the portfolio portfolio value over time the portfolio performance which is a new thing that i'm adding into these portfolio updates how my portfolio is performing because i want to beat the s p 500 while growing a, a stream of passive income from dividends so we're tracking dividend income we're tracking portfolio value over time and now we're actually tracking our performance versus the s p 500. so we have that and yeah we're doing all of that and yeah it's going to be a portfolio update for the month of august going over all those things and uh you guys know the drill we've done this before and before we get into it let's roll the intro i've been a rich man and i have been a poor man and i choose rich every time I make investing content and my channel is Dividend Dude. You should leave a like and subscribe if you're going to enjoy the video. As a disclaimer, this is not financial advice. I am just a dividend growth investor trying to share my takes on dividend growth stocks and various other stocks. This is not financial or investment advice and always do your own due diligence before investing. Okay, so here in Robinhood, we have the current portfolio structure. I'm not reinvesting all my dividends, like just stripping them back into the underlying stock. Because I've decided that I just want to build up shares, no matter the price, just kind of DCA into all my positions and dividends is a way to do that. But other than that, I think what you could see most is that I added substantially to both Paycom and Visa. I added to Starbucks a little bit. I added to Crocs a little bit. I think I may have added to Snap-on as well, and then I reinvested some dividends. Um, but Paycom, I mean, it's just reported earnings and they're doing phenomenal today. And Crocs also just reported earnings and they're doing bad on price wise but i think the earnings is very good and i will probably grab more crocs shares today so you know uh right now we're doing all right um the portfolio is at all-time highs it's the highest it's ever been thirty-three thousand five hundred. i mean i'm completely impressed with the portfolio's performance today it's up a little bit over the past week the portfolio is up 4.6 percent in one week and over the past month the portfolio is up 4.35 percent over the past three months, you can see it's had some fluctuation, but it's up a good amount over the past three months. So, and you know, like when we transferred from Fidelity, it was right here. So we transferred from Fidelity here, um, right? So this is my current portfolio structure. I'm not really looking to change anything right now. I like all of my holdings. If Google or Amazon went on any substantial dips, I'd look to add one of those. And yeah, I like all my current holdings, just looking to add to holdings that I already do have. And uh, we could take a look at our total return. If uh, we'd like, we could take a look at our total return, which for all my holdings right now is looking like this. We have Paycom 6.78% in the green. Visa down 1.2% in total. It's fine. Starbucks down about 10% right now. Salesforce up about 17%. Crocs about 33.4%. Taiwan Semiconductor up close to 100% on that one. Snap on up about 8%. Apple up about 52%. Techstratus up about 63%. And Microsoft up about 73%. So, you know, solid uh, stuff right there. And then we could look at our equity in each position. This is how our, our portfolio is currently laid out. Um, uh, Visa, I'd like to even increase even more, but Paycom's just been such a runner. And it's one that I've invested heavily into. And so far, it's been paying off. Crocs is probably going to get bumped up because I'm going to be buying more after this dip. Uh, earnings was very good. Like I said, they beat on both the top and bottom line and actually raised guidance slightly. I listened to the earnings call. I liked what they had to say. So it's probably one that I will be adding to at these levels as it's down another 5% today. But let's go over into our dividend income history, our portfolio value history, and the performance of the portfolio for the month of July. Okay, here's our dividend income history. You can see our dividend income has progressed every single month. Um, we had a, a small month. Uh, I, don't, I don't have many companies paying me dividends this month, but we had a $19.82 month. In the month of July, we got $19.82 of dividends that we just reinvested into all the other holdings. Um, and the interest was just paid to the cash position, but $19.82 were just reinvested into the underlying holdings in my portfolio, which is completely fine by me. You can see my dividend income over time has been growing. I've gotten out of some higher yielding positions, so my dividend income may start not looking like as high. Vici was my highest yielding before, and I'm not in that one anymore. Um, and so it may not be as high, but 9 out of 10 of the companies in my portfolio pay dividends. 
and we're reinvesting into the underlying stocks. They're growing those dividends, and I'm happy with how that's going. In terms of total value, uh, this is my portfolio's total value. I just made a chart for this as well because I'm starting to want to chart things out, right? And you can see my portfolio total value. Um, this was recorded yesterday, so it's actually a little bit lower than it is today because it was recorded yesterday. Um, but you could see how my portfolio value has progressed over time, and we're hitting all-time highs in the portfolio, which is definitely a good thing on terms of total value. And in terms of performance history, we had a very, very strong month in the month of July. I finally figured out how to map out month after month my whole portfolio's performance. I just take the first day of the month to the last day on Robinhood, and then I do uh, I, I put my two fingers in between them and, and figure out the performance versus the SPY for that month. I'll look up like SPY's uh, monthly performance. And I've done that and just tracked it. And then uh, before Robinhood, my Fidelity account just tracked it on its own. But now I have to track it on my own. So you can see that uh, more recently, I don't think this was filled in 2024. We um, underperformed in January. We outperformed in February. We outperformed in March uh, by a good margin. Then we basically market performed in April. We underperformed in these past two months, mostly due to Starbucks and Paycom. And then in the month of July, we regained outperformance substantially. I would like to see where these annual totals come in. I think I'll outperform for 2024. And in the most recent month, we outperformed by over 2%. So very strong performance from my portfolio in the most recent month of the month of July. Now that's it for the portfolio update. It was a little bit short. We're just running through it. I don't want to, you know, uh, collect AdSense off you guys or anything by making these longer than they have to be. They're just portfolio updates that I like making for you guys. I'm going to be going on family vacation uh, starting on Saturday. So I'm going to schedule an upload or two for you guys there. And uh, keep expecting uploads on X, posts on X. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.